Hey guys, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we'll be discussing the top 30 interview questions based on HTML. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is the most widely used language for developing web applications. It was created by Berners-Lee in the year 1991, but it was published in the year 1995. HTML4 was a popular breakthrough version and got published in the year 1991. This version gained a lot of popularity and was adopted all over the globe for developing web applications. So without further ado, let's get started with the interview questions based on HTML. So the first question, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it is the language of the internet. It is a standard text formatting language used for creating and displaying pages on internet. HTML documents are made up of the elements and tags that format it properly and display it on pages. So we have our next question now. What are HTML tags? So the answer for this question is HTML tags are used for placing the elements in a proper and appropriate format. Tags use the symbols greater than and less than to set them apart from the HTML content. The HTML tags need not to be closed always. For example, in case of images, the closing tags are not required for an image tag. Now followed by the second question, we have our third question. What are HTML attributes? The attributes are the properties that can be added to an HTML tag that change the way the tag behaves or displayed. For example, an image tag. An image tag has SRC attribute with which you can use the source from which you have to display the image from. Now the attributes are added right after the name of the HTML tag inside the brackets. The attributes can only be added to opening or self-closing tags but never in closing tags. Now followed by third question, we have our next question. What is Markview in HTML? Markview is used for scrolling text on a web page. It scrolls the image or text up, down, left or right automatically. To apply for a Markview, you have to use Markview tags. Now we have our fifth question. How do you separate a section of text in HTML? We separate a section of text in HTML using the below tags, which are the break tag, paragraph tag and block quote. The break tag is used to separate a line of text. It breaks the current line and shifts the flow of the text line to a new line. Followed by that, we have the paragraph line. The paragraph line is used to write a paragraph of text. And third one, the block quote. The block quote tag is used to define large quoted sections. Now we have our sixth question. Define the types of lists in HTML. So we have the three types of lists in HTML, which are the ordered list, unordered list and definition list. So first we'll discuss the ordered list. The ordered list uses OL tag and displays elements in a numbered format. Next we have the unordered list. The unordered list uses UL tag and displays elements in a bulleted format. Thirdly, we have the definition list. The definition list uses DL, DT and DD tags and displays elements in the form of definition like a dictionary. Next we have our seventh question. How do you align list of elements in an HTML file? We can align the list elements in an HTML file by using indents. If you indent each nested list in further than the parent list, then you can easily align and determine the various lists and the elements that it contains. Now we have our eighth question, differentiate between ordered list and unordered list. So the answer for this question is, an unordered list uses UL tags and each element of the list is written between LI tags. The items are displayed as bullets rather than numbers. Now coming into ordered list, so for creating an ordered list, you'll be using OL tags and each element inside the list is written using LI tags. The list items are displayed using numbers rather than bullet points. Now we have a sample on the screen right now. So the first three elements are a set of unordered lists which are represented using bullet tags and the second set which is the coffee, tea and milk is an ordered list which is represented using numbers. Now moving ahead, we have the ninth question. How do you display a table in HTML web page? So the table in HTML can be created or displayed using the table tag. So it also uses to manage the layout of the page. For example, header section, navigation bar, body content, footer section, etc, etc. So given below are a list of HTML tags used for displaying table in an HTML web page. So we have table, tr, th, etc, etc. Table is used to define a table. tr is used to define a row in a table. th for header. td for a cell. Caption is used to 
define a caption and we have the call group which is used to specify a group of one or more columns in a table for formatting. Next we have call which is used with call group element to specify column properties for each column. Next we have T body which is used to group the body content in a table. Next we have T head, T footer which are used for header content and footer content respectively. Moving forward we have our 10th question. How do you display the given table in an HTML web page? So the answer for this question is written on the right side part of my screen. This is the sample code which you can use to represent or display a table which is given in this particular format over here. Now followed by this we have our 11th question. How do we insert a comment in HTML? So the answer for this question is we can insert a comment in HTML by beginning with lesser than sign and ending with a greater than sign. For example as shown in the right side part of my screen which is hello world. Now moving ahead we have our 12th question. How do you insert a copyright symbol in HTML? So you can insert a copyright symbol by using ampersand copy semicolon or ampersand hashtag 169 semicolon in an HTML file. Now moving ahead we have our 13th question. So what is a white space in HTML? So the answer for this question is an empty sequence of space characters is called as white space in HTML. This white space is considered as a single space character in HTML. White space helps the browser to merge multiple spaces into one single space and so taking care of indentation becomes easier. White space helps in better organizing the content and tags making them readable and easy to understand. With this let's move into the 14th question. How do you create links in different sections within the same HTML web page? So the answer is anchor tags. We can use anchor tag along with referencing through the use of hashtag symbol to create several links to different sections within the same web page. Moving ahead we have the 15th question. How do you create a hyperlink in HTML? So the answer is we can use anchor tag again here the same thing. We can use anchor tag to create a hyperlink within the HTML that links to another web page. The hyperlink can be added to images too. Now moving ahead into our 16th question. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Define an image map. So the answer for this question is an image map in HTML helps in linking with the different kinds of web pages using this single image. It can be used for defining spaces in the images that are made part of the image mapping process. Moving ahead, we have our 17th question. Why do we use style sheet in HTML? A style sheet helps in creating a well defined template for HTML web page that is both consistent as well as portable. A single style sheet template can be linked to various web pages which makes it easier to maintain and change the look of the website. Now the 18th question, what is semantic in HTML? So the answer for this question is semantic HTML is a coding style. It is the use of HTML markup to reinforce the semantics or the meaning of the content. For example, the semantic HTML B tag is not used for bold statement as well as I tag which is not used for italic. Instead we use strong and EM tags. Now followed by the 18th question we have our 19th question. What is SVG in HTML? So the HTML SVG is used to describe the vector or raster graphics. SVG images and their behaviors are defined in XML text sheets. It is mostly used for vector type diagrams like pie charts, two dimensional graphs in an XY coordinate system. Now moving ahead, we have our 20th question. What would happen if there is no text between the HTML tags? So the answer for this question is really simple. There would be nothing to format if there is no text present in between the tags. Therefore, nothing will appear on the screen. Some tags such as the tags with our closing tag like image tag do not require any text between them. Now followed by the 20th question we have our next question. How do you create nested web pages in an HTML? So nested web pages basically mean a web page within a web page. We can create nested web pages in HTML using the built in iframe tag. The HTML iframe tag defines an inline frame for example which is displayed on the right side part of my screen. You can see the iframe source which redirects the user to simply learns official web page. Now followed by that we have our 22nd question. How do you add buttons in HTML? So we can use the built in button tag in HTML to add buttons to the HTML web page. So on the right hand part of my screen you can see the implementation of button to an HTML web page. Now followed by 22nd question we have our 23rd question. 
what are the different types of headings in HTML? So the answer for this question is, there are basically six types of heading tags in HTML which are defined with h1 to h6 tags. Each type of the heading tag displays different text size from another where h1 is being the largest and h6 is being the smallest. So on the right hand part of my screen you can see the implementation of heading tags from h1 to h6. Now the output for this particular code segment is the h1, h2, h3, h4, h5, h6. So you can see that h1 is being the biggest one and h6 is being the smallest one. Now moving ahead into our 24th question, how do you insert an image in the HTML web page? So the answer for this question is you can insert an image in the HTML web page by using the following code which is displayed on the right side part of my screen. You can see we have a image source is equals to tulip.jpeg which is used for inserting an image into your HTML web page. Now our 25th question. What is the alt attribute in HTML? Now the answer for this question is the alt attribute is used for displaying the text in place of an image whenever the image cannot be loaded due to any technical issue. So basically when you have poor internet connection and you're trying to load an image, you can see some sort of text in place of an image. So that particular text is nothing but the alt attribute. Now moving ahead, we have our 26th question. How are hyperlinks inserted in the HTML web page? You can insert a hyperlink in the HTML web page by using the following code which is present on the right side part of my screen. You can use the anchor tag along with h reference and inside that particular tag you can use the URL to which you want your users to redirect to. Now followed by this we have our 27th question. How do you add color to the text in HTML? So the answer for this question is you can add color to the text by using the following code which is present on the right side part of my screen where you can add red color and blue color, green color to this particular paragraph and headings. Now followed by 27th question we have our 28th question. How do you add CSS styling in HTML? So there are three particular ways to add CSS to your HTML. There are inline CSS, external style sheet and internal style sheet. We'll discuss each of these methods in a bit more detail. First we have the inline CSS. So it is used when less amount of styling is needed or in cases where only a single element has to be styled. To use inline styles, add the style attribute in the relevant tag. Now moving ahead we have the external style sheet. This is used when the style is applied to many elements or HTML pages. Each page must link to the style sheet using the link tag. Now we have the last one which is the internal style sheet. It is used when a single HTML document has a unique style and several elements need to be styled to follow the format. Internal style sheet is added in the head section of the HTML page by style tag. Now followed by this we have our 29th question. What hierarchy do the style sheets follow? The answer for this question is, if a single selector includes three different style definitions, the definition that is closest to the actual tag takes precedence. Inline style takes priority over embedded style sheets, which takes priority over external style sheets. Now our last question for the session today, how do you add JavaScript to an HTML web page? So the answer for this question is we basically have three methods to add a JavaScript to our HTML web page. They are inline script block and external JavaScript file. First we'll discuss the inline. You can add JavaScript to your HTML elements directly whenever a certain event occurs. JavaScript code can be added using attributes of the HTML tags that support it. Now the next one that is the script block. You can define a script block anywhere inside the HTML code which will get executed as soon as the browser reaches to that part of the document. This is why script blocks are usually added at the end part of the HTML documents. Now the last one that is the external JavaScript file. You can also add or import the JavaScript code from a separate file and keep your HTML code clutter free. This is especially useful if there is a large amount of scripting added to the HTML web page. Now with this we have come to an end of this particular HTML interview questions. If you have any questions for us or if you feel that we missed out anything important then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Our team of experts will be delighted to hear it from you. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.